Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel and I'm going to answer question number six part one from the Edexcel C4 June 2019 paper. This question actually now would be classed under P3, the new P3, this type of integration. Some of the integration has moved so I'll make a separate video for this question and put it under P3 under the integration for that and then I'll make a separate video for the rest of the the questions in this section which are more related to the p4 type of integration okay so this particular question is quite simple it's um, basically using the reverse of the chain rule now before we integrate something like this we must get it ready for integration so something like this you have to um, write the the denominator e to the power of 3x in the numerator it's by using the laws of indices i know for example that 1 over a to the power of n is the same as a to the power of minus n. Okay, so I can write this as the integral of. Um, I like to write the constants outside, it's just my habit. So I'll put 5 over 6 outside, and this will be e to the power of minus 3x, and I got to integrate that with respect to x. Okay, because this is like you have 1 over e to the power of 3x, which is the same as e to the power of minus 3x when you rewrite it in this form. Now it's ready to be integrated. Now when you integrate something like this, you have to make sure um, of something that uh, if you look at what's inside the function, what's outside the function should be of the same order as a differential of what's inside the function. Now e to the power of something, you have e to the power of some function of x. Okay, so that's where the, the function is in inside the function for e. Now what's uh, what you have to make sure it's of the form of outside the function is of the same order as the differential of what's inside the function multiplied by that. If you've got something in this form, then you can integrate it just using the reverse of the chain rule. And that's exactly what we have here because outside or multiplying this function is a constant. It's 5 over 6 or if we look at it like this, just 1. It's, it's basically a constant. If you differentiate minus 3x, you get a constant, minus 3. So if, as long as it's the same order, it doesn't have to be the same value, the same order of what's inside the function, you're fine. Like, for example, if it was e to the power of minus 3x squared, I wouldn't be able to integrate that, okay? Because outside the function, I have, you know, a constant. And if I differentiate this, I get an x term, six minus 6x. So if there's an x term out here, then I can integrate it. Like, for example, if this said x times e to the power of minus 3x squared, I could use the reverse of the chain rule because I can, um, you know, the differential of this is of the form of x and I'll be able to integrate it. All right, so in this particular case, I have like a number times, a constant times e to the power of minus 3x. If I differentiate e to the power, of, if I differentiate what's inside this function, I get 3, minus 3, which is the same order as the constant. So I can integrate this, so I'm going to write this as 5 over 6. Now to integrate e to the power of something, well, that's the easiest integration you can ever get. It just stays the same. So it's just going to be e to the power of minus 3x. It doesn't change. Only thing now you have to do is, if there is a function inside the function like there is here, you have to divide by the differential of what's inside there. And the differential of minus 3x is minus 3. So I have to divide by minus 3. So I end up with 5 over 6 um, times e to the power of minus 3x over minus 3 plus c. It's, a, it's an indefinite integral, so you must put the plus c. Don't forget that constant of integration and then that will give us minus 5 over 18 e to the power of negative 3x plus c okay so that's the answer for six part one and i'm going to make this as a separate video as i said and put it under the p3 section um, of integration because that's where this is actually now the new p3 has got some integration and this is one of the types of integration you'll find in that section now one of the things i just want to mention supposing i had a question like this and i want to integrate this with respect to x um as i said i can do something like this because it's minus 3x squared if it was minus 3x without the squared i won't be able to integrate it using this method i'd have to use another method okay which is integration by parts which we're going to do later but this to integrate something like this i will do exactly what i just did here the way i like to do it is i'll just write it as it is because this integrates by just staying as it is. It just doesn't change. You keep the power the same, everything. e to the power of minus 3x squared. But then you differentiate by the differential of what's inside the function. In this case, that will be minus 6x. And what you'll notice is 
the x term disappears. So you'll end up with minus 1 over 6 e to the power of minus 3x squared plus c. Now that's a different question. That's not our question. I'm just showing you how this um, reverse of the chain rule actually works. Okay, So you can't integrate unless you're sure that outside the function is something of the form of the differential of what's inside the function. Okay, So that's just a little side point there to make you realize how to do this question. So as I said, I will make a separate video for this and for the other parts of question 6. I'll, I'll categorize this under integration of P3 and the rest of it for integration of P4. Okay, so if you want to see other questions which are related to P3 integration, you can find them in this um, playlist over here. Um, other questions from this particular paper of June 2019, C4, you can find them in this playlist over here. And um, you can subscribe to my channel from this link. And on the top of the page here, you can go to another uh, playlist. I'll put the playlist for the um, P3 integration at the top of this p3 integration kind of um, questions okay thank you for watching and um, see you soon